Hello friends, today we are going to see the Kadanez algorithm for finding out the maximum sum subarray. So let's see, this is the array and in this array we have to find out the maximum sum for a set of continuous numbers which is called as the subarray. So in short we have to find out the subarray in this array which has the maximum sum. This problem exists because this array had some negative numbers and because this array had some negative numbers whenever a negative number is encountered in this array the sum reduces. So we have to find out continuous set of numbers which has the maximum sum. So let's see how to do this. This is the algorithm for finding out the maximum sum and then we will modify this algorithm for finding out the starting index and the ending index of that sub array which has that maximum sum. Okay, so let's start. Max so far is a variable which is first carrying the value of the first element of the array that is 4. So max so far is 4. Then max ending here is initialized to 0 at first. Now let's start with the for loop that is this algorithm. This algorithm is called as Kadanez algorithm. So for i equal to 0. So i is pointing to the 0th index of this array. Let's go inside. Max ending e here is equal to max ending here plus a of i. So max ending here is 0. So 0 plus a of i. i is 0. So the 0th index element is 4. So 0 plus 4 is 4. Now let's go ahead. So if max so far is less than max ending here. See 4 is less than 4? No. So we will not go inside that if and we will go to the next block of code. Now next block is if max ending here is less than 0. No it is not less than 0. So this condition is also not satisfied. So in this for loop again we go for the next uh, number for i. So i was 0 now i will become 1. So i will be incremented. Now minus 3. So max ending here is equal to max ending here plus a of i. C. So 4 plus minus 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Now check whether 1 is greater than 4. See max so far is 4 and max ending here is 1. So 4 is less than 1? No. So again this if condition is not satisfied and we will go to the next if condition. Max ending here is less than 0? No, it is not. So let's go to the next, means uh, next i. So now i will become 2. So i is here. C minus 2. So 1 minus 2. Here it will be 1 and minus 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Now again this condition is not satisfied, this if condition, but this condition max ending here is less than 0 is satisfied. So in this case max ending here is set to 0 again. Now let's increment i. So i is incremented. Now see 2. So max ending here is equal to max ending here plus 2. Max ending here is 0 and that is 2. So max ending here is 2 now. So here again 2 is greater than 4? No. 
so this if condition is not satisfied and we go to the next if condition max ending here is not less than 0 so this is not satisfied and we go to the next i so i is incremented now i will directly do it here see uh, now i points to 3 so max ending here is 2 plus 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 so max ending here is 5 now see max ending here is 5 and max so far is 4 5 is greater than 4 so when max so far is less and max ending here is more this means that the addition has exceeded the max so far so now we have got an, an extra element which contributes to the maximum sum means that element is a member of that sub array which will form the maximum sum so so max so far is equal to max ending here so this means we include that element in that sub array so max so far will become 5 now now again max ending here is not less than 0 so we will increment i now so i is incremented i is 1 so again max ending here plus uh, a of i that is 1 so here you can see 5 plus 1 is 6 now I will directly write it here I will delete everything from here ok so 6 max ending here is 6 so check 6 is greater than 5 yes so max so far becomes 6 max ending here is not less than 0 so let's increment now i is minus 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 and when uh, it is 4 max ending here is less than max so far so we will come out of that if condition and, and next if condition is also not, not satisfied so we will increment i minus 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so again that is not greater so i is incremented and 1 1 plus 4 is 5 okay so 5 is not greater than 6 so i is incremented 2 plus 5 is 7 okay 7 is greater than 6 so max so far becomes 7 and i is incremented minus 6 7 minus 6 is 1 again i is incremented minus 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 c max ending here is less than 0 so max ending here is set to 0 now again i is incremented minus 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 so max ending here is set to 0 now i is incremented so 3 0 plus 3 is 3 again i is incremented 1 plus 3 is 4 c 4 is not greater than 7 again i is incremented so 2 plus 4 is 6 6 is not greater than 7 and the array is over this means there is a sub array in this array with maximum sum as 7 so 7 is the maximum sum sub array in this array now we will see how to find out that sub array now let's find out the starting index and the ending index of that sub array so these are the red lines which are the extra lines for finding out the starting index and the ending index for that sub array so let's solve the example again so that you can understand how to find out these indices okay so as you know max so far is equal to 4 in the beginning that is a of 0 and max ending here is initialized to 0 and there are these three variables start end and s 
start is the starting of that sub array end is the ending index of that sub array and s is a variable which searches for the starting of the sub array let's see how this algorithm works so at first see i will point to the initial index that is 0 max ending here is equal to max ending here plus a of i so max ending here will be equal to 4 that is 0 plus 4 then check 4 is less than 4 or max ending here is greater than max so far max ending here is 4 and max so far is 4 so 4 is not greater than 4 so this if condition is not executed and we go to the next block if max ending here is less than 0 it is not less than 0 so let's increment i okay now <laughs> 4 minus 4 minus 3 that will be 1 again uh, 1 is not greater than 4 so increment i 1 minus 2 is minus 1 as max ending here is less than 0 set it to 0 and now s is equal to i plus 1 so s is equal to i plus 1 that means we don't have any hopes that before i we will get any such sub array so we extend our search to i plus 1 i is 2 so s is i plus 1 that is 3 now again increment i so 0 plus 2 is 2 2 is not greater than 4 increment i 3 plus 2 is 5 yes 5 is greater than 4 so max so far becomes 5 and here start is equal to s end is equal to i so start will become s so s is 3 so starting index will become 3 so this is the starting index now and end is equal to i so as we have reached till here for now end is 4 so end becomes 4 now so let's now increment i okay see 1 plus 5 is 6 6 is greater than 5 so max so far becomes 6 and start equal to s end equal to i so start is 3 and end is equal to i is 5 see end is going ahead means as we are adding the elements and the elements are positive numbers so obviously the addition will be more than the previous addition because these are all positive numbers now there will be a difference when we encounter the negative number now increment i see this is the negative number now so because this is negative number minus 2 plus 6 will be 4 now 4 is not greater than 6 so this condition will not be satisfied and we will directly jump to the next block of code max ending here is not less than 0 so there will not be change in any of these values and we will increment i see 4 minus 3 is 1 again these conditions are not satisfied and i is incremented see 4 plus 1 is 5 5 is not greater than 6 these conditions are not satisfied i is incremented 2 plus 5 is 7 let's see now 7 is greater than 6 so max so far becomes 7 and start equal to s end equal to i so start is 3 as you know and end will become i c that is 9 which means the maximum sum that is 7 the end index is 9 for that we are still searching whether any positive number in this uh, 
in this list affects the sum to be greater or not we are still checking so let's increment i <coughs> okay minus 6 so 7 minus 6 is 1 1 is not greater than 7 conditions are not satisfied i is incremented minus 3 so that becomes minus 2 so minus 2 is not greater than 7 and as it is less than 0 max ending here is set to 0 and s becomes i plus 1 c whenever max ending here is set to 0 then our s variable goes for searching of the maximum sum in the next list means in the next elements so there is a hope that we may find out the maximum sum in the list ahead okay so s is pointing to now i plus 1 that is 12 but again when we increment i 0 minus 1 is minus 1 and as it is less than 0 we set it to 0 so s becomes i plus 1 so now s is 13 now let's see increment i so 3 plus 0 is 3 so 3 is not greater than 7 increment i 1 plus 3 is 4 4 is not greater than 7 2 plus 4 is 6 6 is not greater than 7 increment i the array is over this means these indices that is 3 and 9 so 3 up to 9 so 3 to 9 is our sub array with the maximum sum so in this way we have found out the maximum sum hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you